Hezbollah was wounded even before the group lost its leader in the massive bombardment that destroyed a residential block and an underground bunker on Friday. This has been a different war than those that have come before, with Israel proving it has the upper hand in intelligence and security knowledge. The armed group's military leadership has all but been eliminated. I think that um, you are going to see a certain period where there won't be any announcements as to who is going to fill in that vacuum which was left by Sayyid Hassan Asallah out of fear that Israel with this momentum it will go ahead and also take out those other leaders who will come in as a, as a replacement. Uh, so I think that the Hezbollah strategy now it's going to take uh, quite some time to see what is going to take place, how Hezbollah is going to deal uh, with these challenges. People in Lebanon are waking up to a new reality. Nasrallah was not just a political and religious leader, but a man seen as a protector, particularly among his supporters. And it is where they live that is now under heavy bombardment. Many pinned their hopes on Nasrallah, hoping he would change the balance of power with Israel. There is a sense of defeat, and Hezbollah's support base is looking for more than a symbolic response from the group. Hezbollah may need time to regroup after one of the most intensive and extensive bombing campaigns and sophisticated operations it's ever faced. This is just one of dozens of Israeli strikes that have been targeting neighborhoods in Beirut's southern suburbs. The intensive bombing campaign in this area began late Friday with that massive attack that killed Hezbollah's secretary general, Hassan Nasrallah. And while the group may be under pressure to act to restore deterrence, it will need to calculate its moves. Israel, which has still not targeted civilian facilities, is believed to want to escalate violence. Indeed, I think Israel smells blood. They believe, as do the Americans, that their main border enemy for decades, Hezbollah, is on it, not only on its back feet, but significantly weakened. And that now is the opportunity, one that must be seized, which is for victory. So it's not a kind of escalate to de-escalate. Israel has already imposed a military blockade on Lebanon, preventing planes from Syria, Iran, or what it calls hostile countries from landing at Beirut's international airport. It has also hit border crossings between Syria and Lebanon. Hezbollah is possibly facing its biggest challenge in its four decades of existence. In a speech a week before his death, Nasrallah did acknowledge setbacks, but assured his followers the group's structure and capabilities are still intact. Those were his last public words. Zan Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.